Hi guys! So a lot of you have been asking about my gray hair and leaving comments and I just wanted to let you know my whole gray hair journey. First I've been getting a lot of comments saying, oh I don't like your gray hair, why are you trying to look younger, why are you putting gray hair color in your hair, or people are saying, oh you look older, why are you doing your hair gray? So. Here is how I feel about my gray hair. I decided to let my natural gray hair grow out almost five months ago. So what you see here is all of the new growth of my natural color right here. And you can see like on the side how white that is right there. I am loving, loving the silver color coming in. But if I part my hair in the middle, you can see how much darker it is there compared to underneath how white it is. And the back of my hair is much darker also. So I had gone through every different hair color out there. My hair was super thick, super long. I had never used extensions in my life. And I decided to let my natural gray grow out and tone my hair gray. So my first attempt, I will show you a picture right here. It kind of came out to be like a muddy looking color. It did have some gray streaks in it, but you could still see that hint of golden in my hair. And as you can see, the color of my natural gray hair coming in, it did not match that at all. And that was done with highlights and toner. So because I'm impatient and I want everything done yesterday, I talked to my friend who is also a licensed hairdresser into bleaching my whole entire head so that I could get a lighter color. And I bleached half my hair off. I'm not happy about it. It really sucks. I cannot stand having short hair. I personally like my longer hair. This ponytail is an extension and my hair is like this short in the ponytail. It does look cute leaving it short, but this extension is my go-to. I just throw it up in a ponytail clip it in. So this ponytail is from VP Fashion and I have a whole tutorial on how I clip it in. I have a coupon code for you guys and I will link everything that I'm talking about below in the description box. Even though I absolutely love how close the color is to my natural hair growing in, especially right here, like look how close, this is the bleached part, look how close that color is to my silver gray hair growing in. This is bleached. This is real natural hair right there. So I love that I don't have to deal with the serious demarcation that a lot of you know if you're growing out your gray hair, like that's the hardest part is that you have to deal with completely different color hair and I love how this matches. I've done a bunch of different videos on how I've saved my hair because it was so damaged I was afraid to touch it. I literally thought it was going to just snap off and I was going to have no hair left but I was determined to keep my hair because I love wearing it up. and. Could I have buzzed it? Absolutely. My niece actually just did that. I will post a picture here of my amazing, beautiful niece who just shaved her head to donate to Locks of Love. She is so amazing and so beautiful, and she is rocking this shaved head. So I'm keeping my hair just long enough so that I can wear it up and I can do different little styles and it's easy to clip in extensions. Otherwise, trust me, I would love to cut my hair off but I wanna be able to wear it up. So what I'm doing as my natural gray grows out and the bleach part starts getting longer, I'm just trimming the bottom so it's not getting any longer. It may even look shorter to you guys when you see me do videos with my super short hair, that's why. This is an extension and this is all my real hair and like I said, my ponytail is like that big. 
So I'm keeping that all trimmed and as this grows out, then I can let all of my hair grow longer. So to save my hair, one of the first things that I did is use the FOG. This is a two-step protein treatment. Again, I will link all of this below. And I've also done videos on all of these products that I'm talking about. So if you go to my channel in the hair care section and just scroll through, you will see how I used all of this stuff that I'm talking about. Then I started using the Olaplex number no. three and I purchased this directly from their website so I know that it's an authentic product. And I started using this once a week. I only washed my hair once a week because I was letting it heal. And I would use this and right after I would put in my natural oils. I made these myself with a bunch of different oils. I'll also link that video below. I have full tutorials on all of this for you guys. And I use this Art Naturals Purple Shampoo Color Balance and Tone Correcting Shampoo and Conditioner. And this is um, vitamin E, coconut oil, 93% natural, no phthalates, no sulfates. It's like all natural shampoo, smells amazing, works amazing, love it. That will keep the yellow tones out of my hair for the natural hair and the bleached part of my hair. And the last thing that I do to keep my hair toned silver, I have not put any chemical toners in my hair at all in almost five months since I bleached it. I use the Rue Fancy Full Silver Lining number 42. This is a washout rinse and I also did a video on how I put this in my hair. After I get out of the shower, I put gloves on and I just squirt it through my hair, run it through, comb it through, dry it, and we're done. So that's all I do to keep my hair toned gray. And I am loving, loving, loving the natural color that is coming in. It has not been easy. I think it was kind of a double-edged sword. If I did not bleach my hair to almost the white stage so that I could get this gray look, I would have been dealing with a serious demarcation of golden hair. For me personally, I don't know if I could have dealt with that. Not that it's any more fun to deal with bleach burned hair, but for me it's just so much easier to put it up and I'm not recommending you guys go bleach your hair off. Not at all. I hate it. I hate the bleached hair. But for me it works and it's growing and luckily I didn't lose all my hair. So if I could give you guys any advice, if you're thinking about growing out your natural gray hair, just do what works for you. Don't worry about what anybody thinks. You have to look at the journey like it's like a two year journey because if you think this is almost five months of growth and how much more it's going to grow, for me personally, it's going to be like a two year journey until I get my hair pretty close to where I want it to stay. I would say talk to your hairdresser, see if they have any ideas of just changing the tone a little bit so the demarcation of gray as it's growing out isn't so noticeable. Or I would say definitely cut your hair shorter. It makes the grow out process so much quicker and easier. If I still have my super long hair and this was only the growth of my hair down to here of golden hair, it would seem like forever. So even if I didn't burn half my hair off, I would have ended up cutting it short anyway, just as this is growing out. It just feels so good to feel like myself and to, for the first time in I don't know how many years, have my natural color hair coming in and I just love it. It's not for everyone for sure. Some of you think I look older, some of you think I look younger, so everyone has a different opinion. But if you're gonna go through this journey, you have to just accept the way that your hair looks yourself. And it doesn't matter what anybody thinks. You have to love it, you have to love yourself, and that is a journey that I'm going through right now. So whether you decide to let your natural gray hair grow out or not, we are all beautiful just the way we are. I don't have anything against coloring your hair. I just made this decision for myself. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.